Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we head off to Seattle, Washington for my first time ever. Explore the city, climb the Space Needle, do some battles, and uh, do some hunting as well. It was a fun day, it was a fun episode, it was a fun trip actually to Seattle. You're gonna see more of that in tomorrow's or next episode as well. But first, we have the biggest update of 2019. Gotta fill you guys in on this because it is some big news and it's kind of a lot of new fun stuff to do in Pokemon Go and it comes in the form of research. There is a lot of new research. Some brand new quests with some sort of newish shinies, and it's a lot, so I'm gonna put a graphic up on screen and then read away. <laughs> Evolve a Pokemon gives you either an Eevee or a Sunkern, which can both be shiny. Power up a Pokemon five times will give you a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, or a Squirtle, which all three could be shiny. Hatch an egg gives you an Execute, fittingly, or a Snubble, which could be shiny. Hatch three eggs gives you a Magmar. Hatch five eggs gives you a Chansey. Trade a Pokemon gives you a Manectric. Transfer three Pokemon gives you a a Vulpix, send two gifts to friends, gives you a Ghastly, which could be shiny, earn five candies walking your buddy, gives you a Tentacruel, use five berries to help catch Pokemon, gives you a shiny, not a shiny Growlithe, but a Growlithe that can be shiny, use 10 Pineapple Berries while catching, gives you a Magikarp, which could be shiny, catch 10 Ice-type Pokemon, gives you a Kabuto, which could be shiny, catch 10 Ground-type Pokemon, gives you a Sandshrew, which could be shiny, actually a brand new shiny, catch five Fighting Pokemon, gives you a Magnemite, which could maybe be shiny. We're going to revisit that in a second because that is kind of a, uh, it might have been taken out of the game thing, but we don't know thing. We, hold on. Catch five Pokemon with Weather Boost gives you a Poliwhirl or Poly, I mean Poliwag, sorry, Poliwag or a Vulpix. Catch 10 Pokemon gives you a Magikarp or a Houndor, and both of them can be shiny. Catch a Dragon Pokemon gives you a Dratini, which could be shiny. Battle in a Raid gives you a Drowsy, which could be shiny. Win a level three or higher raid gives you a Calm, a Nominite, sorry, that could be shiny. Battle in a gym gives you a Mankey or a Machop. A battle in a gym five times gives you a Machop. Win a gym battle gives you a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, a Squirtle, which could be shiny. Win three gym battles gives you a Jinx. Win five gym battles gives you a Lapras. Use a super effective charge move in seven battles gives you an Electabuzz. You can't see what's happening in real life right now because there's a graphic on screen, but JT Gilly's in the house. Make five great curveball throws in a row gives you spin to number five. Make three great throws gives you a Ghastly, which could be shiny. Make three great Great throws in a row gives you a Onyx. Make five nice throws gives you a uh, Voltorb or a Bidoof. Make three excellent throws in a row gives you a Larvitar, which could be shiny. And then out of the research breakthrough, you can possibly get an Articuno, a Moltres, a Zapdos. All three can be shiny. You can get a Raikou, an Entei, a Suicune, or a Lugia and a Ho-Oh. Lugia and Ho-Oh can both be shiny. And then some new research quests that were added a little bit late. Catch five electric, normal, or poison Pokemon gives you a Starmie. Catch seven flying psychic or dark Pokemon gives you an Anerith. Uh, use five raspberries to help catch Pokemon gives you a Cubone, which could be shiny. Use an item to evolve a Pokemon gives you an Aerodactyl, which could be shiny. Win five raid battles gives you an Aerodactyl, which could be shiny. And then make three great throws gives you a Leap or an Anerith. And that is to help with the Meltan quest because it's a hard quest to do. And actually, it seems Seems like shiny Magnemite not really in the game right now. If you were lucky enough to get a shiny Magnemite in November when the event was happening, it's looking like you might be the only people that are, uh, that you, you, there's no getting it. There's no getting it after November. Uh, the same glitch happened actually with shiny Krabby uh, in December. It was pretty much off. There was a glitch with shiny Krabby in December. We, we just didn't have it. Shiny Krabby is fine, but it's looking like shiny Magnemite might have some sort of server side glitch too, because with Niantic flipping the switch between this server and that server and this event and that event, I'm assuming some shinies kind of get lost in the mix. So it's looking like Magnemite might be one of those shinies that was lost in the mix because it's not here. But those are all the research breakthroughs and research rewards that you can get right now in Pokemon Go, which is a ton, a lot of research to do, a lot of eggs to hatch, fives and 10Ks obviously going up, and shiny Magnemite is probably not in the game right now. That is the news, now enjoy the video where we explore Seattle. We are heading off to Seattle today. <laughs> um, Brandon, you want to cook you, right? Uh, do you have a hazelnut latte by any chance? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay, so while they finish ordering the coffee, we actually have nine seven Ks going up right now. So we're gonna knock these because I accidentally opened Pokemon Go, forgetting that we had seven Ks. I'm hatching seven Ks right now. I have, a, I have a full batch. How many Magby have you hatched during this event? 30. Dude, haven't you been chatting? No. Did you hatch any shiny babies? Never. Jeez Louise, all right. Well, but you're about to right now. Hey, Matt, that was possible. That was perfect. Fudge. What'd you get? Banana bread latte. Sounds pretty good. Sounds fire. I'm, I'm gonna eat the cup. Oh. <laughs> 
There's a shiny that's what I meant. Nice, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Let's Thumbnail. Hey, wait, what is our plan for today? Are we doing a space little today? Yes. If it's not too rainy, if the skies are clear. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, also, uh, the uh, Safari Zone event was announced. Are we going to that? That's happening in Brazil. We'll see you later. <laughs> Safari Zone was announced. Happening in Brazil July 24th. Through the sixth, I want to say. Are we moving? Are we, okay, and we're moving. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna go to that, but I'm gonna try. That would be fun. But we have like three weeks to prepare for a trip to Brazil. <laughs> that is not fair, Niantic. So maybe we'll go to that. So uh, all of my South America peeps, all me. Hundred? That's a, yeah. Nice. That's a dumb hundred. <laughs> but yeah, hundred percent. Okay, we got a hundred percent wine. Oh jeez. Oh god. Hundred percent why not right there. Imagine if that was shiny. Why, why, why? And then, uh, a Badoo. That's kind of cool. If it was shiny, it'd be cooler. All these baby Pokemon will trade you. How many do I have? So yes, today is Seattle. First time ever going to Seattle. Pretty excited for it. God. Oh my God. <laughs> what, trash? Yeah, that's a troll, that's a Damn. troll. How do you know Mystic IVs? That's impressive. Huh? <sighs> okay, all right. All right, and that's it. Um, we'll grab the stamp in Seattle. I'm gonna get back in the car, get some math. Uh, Get some Dutch Bros coffee. Drink, drink. It's just F off. <laughs> Dutch Bros. Sorry about him. There, there's five in the All right, we're here in Seattle, Washington right now. What are we doing? Uh, we're oh, going oh. to the museum, thank you. We're going to the Museum of Pop Culture. We're debating whether between walking and lime biking. Gilly is already on a, so Gilly's lime biking. You think they have like lime tandem bikes? They have, no, they have Bad the electric ones. You got the scooter. Okay, cool. Well, sure. as we walk around, Seattle's pretty actually fire for Pokemon. It's a big city. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of stops, a lot of spawns, and a lot of raids, so we're gonna do all of the above right now. And, right now. Uh, well, I mean, we have a mile walk. Best we might as well. On the Space Needle. Actually, yeah, probably as part of this video. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right, let's see you later, dude. We found the mother load of lime bikes. So maybe we're going to ride, maybe we won't. What we will do, though, is log in and actually check out. This is Pokemon Go Seattle. Again, just kind of like any big city where we got a lot of gyms, a lot of stops, most likely a lot of spawns. Nothing around me right now. Oh, Eluid Storm, can we get that and get a 10K? We can and we can. Remember the event is happening, the egg, no, it's not the egg extravaganza, it's the, the hatchathon, whatever it's called, is happening right now. So we got five and 10Ks popping out like crazy. Shiny Swablu, I would have lost my schniz. Actually, I think this is our streak too. Let me just catch this real quick. Just kidding, I'm gonna throw the ball in the dirt and then catch it, nice. Yeah, we're only in Seattle for about, I'd say about two and a half days. A little bit of time to explore, a little bit of time to see everything. By everything, I mean like, you know, a couple stuff. <laughs> Including the Space Needle, which we're going to actually hit, again, Connor and I hitting best friends on top of, which should be fun. So, that would be cool. And then actually, you know what? <laughs> First gym badge here in Seattle? What? The Spiral. I'll take that. Sweet. Actually, and then another 5K egg right there. Uh, let me just click these news announcements. Obviously, we've got the Hatchathon. We covered this already. And then obviously, also, we've got the Safari Zone event happening in Porto Alegre in Brazil, which I'm very much so debating going to. I honestly probably won't go, but I'm gonna try. So we'll see, because that's literally this month. That's not a lot of time to plan for a, an out of country event, but that's all happening. I'm actually gonna grab the stamp, stamp of the day. First stamp on the way to the box. We're heading on the bikes, or we're walking around to uh, Seattle Sash. Welcome, Connor, to the first ever Starbucks in the world. Uh, yeah. Is this not it? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> well, Seattle Starbucks, I'm addicted. I'm excited to be here, ladies and gentlemen.
Ultra Ball 342 CP. That'll be a cool trade. We actually have uh, Wild Hariyama here in game, which is pretty sick. Not a bad spawn here in Seattle. Not bad at all. This isn't technically the first catch in Seattle, so I'm not gonna like name it anything special, but one of the first grabs here in Seattle. So good signs, good spawns. This is the Amazon Go store, by the way, the place where you can just walk in and walk out without having to pay. Well, you pay, but not you don't have a register. That's pretty cool. And uh, this city's flooded with cash right now, which is awesome to see. A lot of construction going up. So Seattle, keep freaking bringing in the prosperity, boys. As I pulled out to uh, do this cinematic clip and other cinematic clips of Seattle, I realized I had 5% battery and or 5% tint. Travis Scott, that was a horrible attempt at a reference. My camera battery's about to die and we're halfway through the day. And uh, all the other camera batteries are in the hotel room, which is gonna be revisited in about four hours from now. So we will see you later tonight and or tomorrow. Excuse me, sir. Yep, excuse me. All right, thanks. Okay, there we go. This is what it feels like to hunt a rare Pokemon up here. Imagine. What is this? So we're waiting in line to get on the Space Needle, but we're taking the gym beforehand. So this is now our Space Needle. There's a Whalmer right here too that we're gonna grab in a second, but first, first we're gonna claim the gym the only way I know how, and that is with an LNO. So dropping the LN for Team Mystic, got it. And then now I am going to battle this. And we're gonna go to the top of the space needle. Welcome everyone. We are flying at 10 miles an hour. We will extend 41 seconds to the top. The space needle was built in 1962 by the World's Fair. Working real. We've been on top of a lot of just very high structures in the history of this channel, so today brings us to the top of the Space Needle here in Seattle. <laughs> so, uh, obviously we're gonna catch a Pokemon up here and we're gonna rename it. Oh my gosh, it's raining, I'm so sorry. On top of the Space Needle, we are along then, and these are our choices for Space Needle Pokemon to catch. Can we get a research po No, that's it, okay. What will be it? What's, what's, what's like Seattle? You know what, Seattle, we're on the water, we're catching a Mudkip. I was gonna get to the bar boat. We're going Mudkip right here. This will be the top of the, I, I can't, almost at Sears Point, Seattle Tower, top of the Space Needle here in Seattle, if we can catch it. Light loot of it running, pretty high, cause it's me. Oh my God, it's gonna run. So it's a uh, weather boosted Mudkip at that, so we'll knock this. But yeah, on the Space Needle, again, we, I think we're coming back here tomorrow just to see a little bit more finessed up Instagram pictures if it doesn't rain. That's God. By the way, Instagram on stream. On stream, on screen, give it a little follow. Gilly? Follow me on Instagram too. Also? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and there's our mud kip, and we'll name him uh, Space Needle. He's awesome. a big guy. He's a big guy. 950? That's huge. That's Space Needle. You want to evolve him right now? I'm going to throw him you off. You want to evolve him right now? Good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we made it. So add this to the list of cool things that we've done. You know what? This is the coolest thing we've done 2019 so far. This is the beginning of So the far, yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Space Needle, Seattle, I'm cold. We're getting food and drinks and all the fun stuff. So. Got it. All right, actually at the top of the uh, space over here, Connor and I, Show we are actually gonna be hitting our uh, best friends right now. So let's do it. Is your radio? No, it's not. Time out. This is also our first ever PvP battle. So. Is this actually? Mm -hmm. We've never PvP battled and we'll do it first for our uh, best friends. Yes. Yes. And there's a crow got the right thing. I don't play with it. Exactly. He has a shiny Charizard. I'm assuming the CP on this one is probably pretty high. Oh, 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 Delivering the super effect to damage. Yeah. Uh, you just oh, destroyed it. Won't let me switch! Oh, it wouldn't let me switch! <laughs> okay. Alright, boys, uh, that's gonna be a massive GG right off the bat. I love it. I've got a tank now. You're a coward. You're a coward. I'm gonna use this. Oh god, it is. I'm so big trouble now. This isn't gonna go well. My hands are frozen, by the way. It's not an excuse. It's just what was the thing. Alright, take it to the nice, dome. Nice. I have lost this battle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. You're gonna, you're gonna do 3 0. Look at your health. Alright, boys. That's, that's all she wrote. You <laughs> I have the shield as well. I'm okay, so well, you killed one of mine, so... Yeah, uh, well, you have two shields. This is a dumb two. idea. I might lose this. What's a dumb idea? I'm assuming a shield's be coming in? Well, Connor, refrain from the shields. I'm Good a coward. I'm a coward. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, GG, boys. That's gonna... Yeah, oh, gosh. Last resort. Yeah, it didn't change it. I mean... Oh, wow, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Still does the job. Okay, well, there goes... 
Alright, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, GG's GG. on the battle. GG's, that's 100,000 100, 100, XP for me, 200 for you. My fingers are frozen. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers, oh, yeah. cheers. Cheers, man. Alright. Oh, okay. Shit, yeah, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, of course. That's cool. Yeah, that staircase These are always fun. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. This is cool though. Oh, you know this is cool. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I hope so. I, I didn't know they made this place that big. I didn't know they made this place that big. I didn't know that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you better slow mo that. <laughs> that looks wild. What the hell? See how crazy? I